My name is Juan Fosworth. Uh, actually, it's pronounced Juan Posalat. Mm, well, Laos was a communist country then, and uh, I think having six children, I think my parents had uh, bigger dreams for, uh, for us. Um, so I think uh, they would have gone to any country, but we were fortunate enough to uh, land here in the United States. Uh, in Kimberley, Wisconsin. I guess I was uh, five when we left Laos. Um, as I say, I don't re recall much, but I do recall uh, the major event of that night, and that was uh, a bunch of communist soldiers came to our house, uh, basically uh, going through the house looking for my dad. Uh, we were fortunate that uh, my dad wasn't home at the time, so uh, that very night we uh, grabbed what we could and uh, were able to uh, hire a, uh, a uh, I guess, a local boat uh, that took us across the Mekong River. You know, it wasn't um, leaving Laos. It wasn't, um, you know, living in the refugee camp for a year. And, you know, it wasn't any of that. I think uh, the thing that hurt me or that made me sad the most was... Uh, after, I don't know how long it was after we had been in the United States, uh, my dad got a phone call. And, uh, you know, I've uh, never seen my dad uh, break down. Uh, it was the first time. And uh, his uh, sister and her husband and two other children were uh, shot and killed trying to cross uh, the Mekong, trying to escape Laos. So, yeah, that was that was rough. See my dad break down like that. Excuse me, sorry. I'd have to go back to the moment several months ago, maybe a month ago, where I uh, sat down and actually told my parents, you know, hey, um, you know, I don't think I will be here to take care of you in your old age because uh, that's in order for me to accomplish uh, what I want to accomplish uh, back in Laos I wouldn't be able to be here for my parents um, and I think that hurt them quite a bit if I could take that back and re-explain it to them that uh, you know it's not the fact that I don't want to be here to take care of them you know yeah of course I want to be here for them, but I'd have to, to also go back to my childhood where my mother always told me, hey, you know, you're here in America now. Get yourself educated. Make yourself successful. Go back to Laos and do some good. 